crafting uh, plays an important role in Greenlands. And you may think of crafting like just another component like you are familiar with from other games. However, in Greenlands crafting is more important because Greenlands is uh, a player-driven economy game. Therefore, you don't get the uh, we cool weapons or armors or whatever else uh, from mobs you kill or from bosses in dungeons you run through. Instead, you get the ingredients, the components, materials to actually create those cool weapons, items, whatever gear you may want. And for that, you need to either be a crafter or you need to find a crafter who can actually build you the gear you want. And the skill of the crafter is also important because the better the crafter, the better uh, the item he can craft. We also designed the crafting in such a way that you actually need to uh, meet with other people. Therefore, you need to be a part of the social experience of Grimlands because you cannot craft everything by yourself. Even you master your crafting skill in, say, weapons, you cannot craft armors, components, vehicle components, whatever, you name it. And uh, because of that, we think that the crafting in itself will help a lot with socializing because you need to meet other people with your needs and so other people will eventually meet you with their needs. And so in the end, we believe that it will create a, well, socializing sort of a nation of Greenlands. In Greenlands, we have two types of vehicle. The first type is the Humvee, which is a heavy vehicle with up to four players in one at once. And it has two gunner's nests and one backseat seat player. Uh, and the second type is the pickup, which supports only two players with one gunner, but it's more agile and faster than the Humvee. You can always change the color for whatever you like. It is red, blue, green, or pink. It's all there. Both our vehicles support a variety of mods which the player can craft. They are based in two categories. The first one is performance, which grants you bonuses, but not visible. And the second group is the visible ones, which also enhance performance. For example, you can mod the armor of the vehicle to gain more durability, you can mod the engine for more torque, or an, and you can mod the trunk for more storage space. So it gets a little complicated later on. For example, when you put a lot of armor onto your vehicle, you will need to get a stronger engine, and that in turn will cost you more fuel. So the fuel consumption will rise, and you will need to mod that too. There are three types of guns you can mount onto the vehicle. The first type has more firepower, the second type has more rapid fire, and the third one gives more protection for the shooter. As you can hopefully see somewhere here, you can and should use the vehicles for combat. The Humvee is armored almost like a tank, so you can sit with your clanmates in the vehicle and shoot the mobs from the safety that guarantees the Humvee. In PvP it is a little bit more complicated because you need to choose your vehicle wisely. The pickup truck is more is faster and more agile, so it is perfect for hit and run operations and the Humvee with its armor is perfect for destroying large bunch of enemies.